season two of the tutorials with the freestyle 320 square meters again. So um, today in this episode I will talk about full stalls and mainly about also fly back, deep stall, full stalls, all these basic principles of aerobatics. Those tricks are really important because that's the trick that starts aerobatics really with wing overs and that's how you recover from anything. I mean fly back is and anyone, any sensible acro pilot will tell you this, is the most important tricks to recover. So today I will mostly talk about the, all the ways to do a full stall from a really like a first timer to someone who is more advanced and would like to, to repeat it. Because that's really a trick you have to repeat, you have to do a lot of full stalls, a lot of flybacks to be able to get this trick right and to be able to have your jokers like an auto, like automatic you know in your head every time there is something messy it has to be automatic okay fly back i'm safe i'll check what's happening we'll start with the beginner style beginner style you go with so you take your break put the length you want for me i do a half half end wrap to be sure and uh, I check that my trimmers are symmetrical, so I'm sure that my glider won't shoot sideways or anything if I don't want to. And then I will start. So I will start from ends up. Usually some people prefer to start with some breaks. I think it's not worth it, so I prefer to start from ends up. I will slowly pull down my ends until the glider stalls. And when the glider stalls, I will try to find my flyback position. Flyback position is the most important position. So I will slowly get my hand higher and higher along my... Always I will keep my arm along my body and try to find this flyback position by getting higher and higher with my hands. And once I find this flyback position, I will try to keep it. So I will try right now. I pull hands up. So I'm hands up. I break slowly, 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 slowly. Glider stall. to stop the glider I mean everything was super easy so it's like if you find the right exit position it's everything comes all right this time I will try to go from a faster stall to fly back you see because here it took some time which is normal when you start to do your first full stalls but as soon as you get this flyback position I remember where it is it's right here I will need to get there faster so I will just have to pull the stall and then get to this flyback position Okay, so I got end up, okay. and I break slowly, slowly, slowly. As soon as you have this position, I mean the glider is doing some pitch. When the glider shoots in front, you release and then the glider flies by itself and you don't even have to stop it. I will go again for a flyback through deep stall. Flyback through deep stall is easy as well. It's, I think, the easiest way to do a flyback and it's the best because then you don't go through this full stall which is annoying, it's messy and stuff. It's much better to go straight to flyback. So to go straight to flyback, you will go through like kind of a deep stall actually. To, to do this you will break, 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 break and when you feel the glider is going to stall you release straight to your flyback position a bit lower than your flyback position like a really close flyback uh, Why you do this? You do this because mostly if you release to your flyback position the glider will maybe overshoot you and then because you will have released too high It's much better to release a bit lower and then see what's happening and then open up your flyback Once in flyback I will try to move around you know that's how you will feel comfortable with the flyback position that's how you will be able to to really feel what's possible and also how you will really feel that you mastered it you know once you are able to wander around to turn to go there to go there 
that's how you will see that flyback is a stable thing and that's how that's when you will be you will be able to say that you mastered the trick. I will do my deep stall like like a deep stall I will break 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 and when I feel the glider is going to stall I will release into this flyback position okay so you will see I will break 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 maybe release and break a little to really find this deep stall and then go it's also a training to go in deep stall which is always good and once I will be in flyback I will try to put some weight shift to move around with my flyback you know it's important to be able to to discover the place so okay I break I break okay and here Again, I did not even have to pull the brake, just a little contact does the thing. You know, what, what do you have to remember for this full story? You have to remember that flyback is a real thing. I mean, full story is one thing, but flyback really is the real deal. You also have to remember that when, once you are in flyback, you have to be really stable with your body, with your arms. You have to, to feel safe, you know. Flyback is a safe position, it's just a safe place in acro. So you have to be really like to be stable, be confident, your glider won't betray you in flyback. And then you have to remember that to exit, you have to choose the moment where the glider shoots. When the glider is in front of you, you just release and it shoots. And sometimes you don't even have to brake. Actually, most of the time you don't have to brake. And then you also have to remember to train it often, train it as much as possible, try to turn, try to move around, you know. And if you miss the exit, if you do anything wrong, try to remember that you don't have to overdo it. I mean, just, just break as much as you think is good and not more, because if you break more, you will stall it again. And let's remember that you are not still mastered of full stalls. Full stalls anyone could do. I mean, any big German with big arms can stall a glider and, and that's all, you know.